So the Pasuk says, so Yitzchak says to Yaakov, this is the Baruch HaSvitin L'cha Likim Betala Shamayim Mishman Le'orit. And Hashem will give you from the dew of the heaven and the fat of the earth. We do a dig, but from the Bittu L'Rebbe, and other my modim, Ma'o Oim Rav Yitin L'cha Likim. So why? Alikim, Shem Alikim Daike. Why? What's the problem with Yitin L'cha Likim? Harei klolus in an abroches nimshech m'shem avaye dafke. Broches, of course, giloy and chesed, they come from m'shem avaye. M'shekos be birchas koyinim, like it says in birchas koyinim, v'rech ha avaye, not a likim, but avaye. Shezel me pnei shem avaye, mokir kol abroches. Shem avaye is the source of all broches. Vim kein, gam kain ho yitzorech, l'haske shem avaye. Here too you should have mentioned shem avaye. V'lomonem ba v'yit n'lcho likim dafke. Why dafke v'yit n'lcho likim? V'hini b'medrash isa, the medrash rabba on the pasuk says, all kinds of explanations the medrash gives to these brachas. One of them is as follows, mitala shomayim zo mikra. So the dew, that's chumash, that's mikra, that's scripture, as it were. Mishman yoretz, in the fat of the land, zo mishneh. That's a reference to Mishnah. Dogon, the grains, at Talmud, that's Gemara. And Tirosh, which is the vine, is Agoda, says the Medrash. Hainu, she'in yonam shel brachas eilu. So what is Yitzchak blessing Yaakov with, according to the Medrash here? She'borche, but Torah, he benched him with Torah. So now... He's going to explain v'itnul cholikim dafke v'apizeh shalavai mashakos v'itnul cholikim, and th- we can explain with this why he invoked shem cholikim shem cholikim dafke kibem matan teirik siv. What does it say matan teira? V'idabra cholikim it's called advar ma'ele, and cholikim spoke all these words shem cholikim dafke. So that's kind of a technical answer. The Medr says he benched him with teira, and teira is v'idabra cholikim. That's how teira introduces. They are said as a dibris. On them, however, if he appears to you in a brachas kuel atayra, however, this raises another question: If the brachas here atayra are dying, tzarich lahav in hagufa, we have to understand this itself. Mao atam shbe negel atayra niska shem olakim dafke. We've just shifted the question: Why, when it comes to atayra, can maybe matan atayra? Why taka this? Why dabra olakim? And he points in order six where this question is raised. So next, so it's like a second question, one A, one B. Third question. Gam tzarich lov and klol it's a pirish in shab baruch hasker la teira. But how do you have to understand that Yitzchak is now benching Yaakov and what is the bracha according to the medrash? According to this pirish of the medrash, it's referring to teir de lachayra ma'in shabarcha ba teira. Blessing him with Torah, and it not tell you so. Hal in the sinners are Torah, the soul, or you so lacher is a Torah wasn't given yet. The Matan Torah, or my pool is a broches, but again, I tell you. So, what's the, what's the effect of the broches with respect to Torah if Torah wasn't given yet? Actually, he sends us to Samach Vav. I'm sure there's a new ones there because we all know. But he goes on to say, actually, that they did have Torah before. I don't have to see some of there, but the point means to is here what is Nagir the Brachas bin Nagir to Torah? Torah is all about, I mean, Brachas is all about Hamshacha. So the Torah which they had was not drawn down the matter. They had the Torah the Maila. That's kind of, it seems that's the question. He's not asking how is the Torah before Torah was given. Of course, they had Torah before. The question is, Mai Polis Habrachas bin Nagir in Torah. It remains heavenly. So what's the effect thing now? Since Teda wasn't given yet, and it's not accessible down here. And the whole point of a bracha is, I'm shach lamata, what's being effected? I assume that's the question, and that's what he's telling us to see in Samar Vav. But we'd have to look it up. And Beis Rashem, Bli Neder, we hope to get to it, look it up. Furthermore, Shari gam gina teira kefi shoyer lifnei matan teira. 
Now, even the Torah that existed before the Torah was given, and the Lord, but if in shall not sin, will a man like Matan Torah. Not the way that it was given from above to below, like Matan Torah, like the Avedis Adam. It's all through Avedis Adam. So again, that's pointing to man reaching upwards, so it's not Brach Adam Shacha. But the next question is, mid-question, mid-statement now, even Torah, the way it is, the Maila, before Matan Torah, so this was around before this bracha now. It sounds like this is a chidr. She's benching him with what? With Torah. It's not, that's not new. They had this before. Avram was Zokin. The Pasuk says, Zokin, he was elder. It means Yishchak Avin is Zokin, Yishchak Avin is Zokin, and so on. So the first question here at Tzarek Lavin is what are you benching with Torah? Torah wasn't given yet. And the Kvetch is again, it seems Dam Shoche. And Bachlal, whatever Torah is, Yaakov's got it. What is being added now? As he concludes, him came Ami Tosef and his Chadash. What is added and innovated here to Yaakov? Well, they are bracha vayitlocha again. It's the bracha component. Vayitlocha they came. They didn't have before sheborche b'Torah that he blessed him with Torah. Concluding now, ach inyan ze sheborche b'Torah. This whole pirush that he benched him with Torah will pirush amedrish. That's a pirish man. Let's go back to the poshet the taish. Aval a pirish a poshet imikritz is in midei pshuto pshutoi. The simple meaning of the pasuk never departs, and that is it's not talking about it. Who shall bracha us in minigel in yonim gashmi? Mital hashamayim, the Jew of heaven, mishmana yoretz, fat of the land. Turn the page. For if dog and much grave grain, the tiroish and vine keep pshuto. And therefore, we can't say love in Loma. My question remains. Goes back to the first question. Why Shem Olikim? Eli Shem Olikim Davka Avapi Sham Shachas Vegilu Kol Abrachas Mishem Avaye. Even though all the brachas are Shem Avaye. In other words, he said he brought the medrash. He said it's very good. The medrash that's on some level, but the pasuk still remains. We cannot answer the pasuk by saying. That Shem Alekim is associated with Torah only. Vidabra Alekim is called Dvarim Ma'ila. When the Pasha, the Pshat of the Pasik is that it means Dvarim Gashmim. And so therefore we have not answered our question why it says Shem Alekim, notwithstanding the association with Torah. So the first question remains. Base, yeah, we're clear. The Yuvim Behaktim and Mavu, but my Marish Lad Marazokim, I understand all of this by first prefacing that which the Alter Rebbe says. Shashon, this is still the year, Shnas Hambe Yeva Chamishim, the 150 years, Tavshin Chav Gimel, since the passing of the Alter Rebbe, Bebichl, Ambarim Ksav Yad Kodesh, Brim Malam Akoyme, the Rebbe always introduces it with a full introduction, with the Bichl, the manuscripts, the Ksav Yad Kodesh of his son and successor, Admorem Tzoy, the Mittel Rebbe. Just curious where these, he stressed, Brim Malam Akoyme before. <clears throat> no. In the previous Maimon, Shabbat Pashas Noach, he just said, I presume it's Meduyuk. Ksavyat Kedesh had more than Zoy. It doesn't add Mamala Makoy, but here it does. That's interesting. Vula Yesh Leimah Bedet, Yesh Bedet, Tzachus. Tzachus just means, Tzach means, uh, literally means to lighten. Expression that's used when something is said to that not necessarily is justified, but it lightens the the situation. It's hard to translate to pinpoint what is meant by derachat zachus. But at any rate, here he's speaking about the hemshech of Yitzchak and Yaakov. The brachas, v'itn l'chol So therefore, here 
he, he emphasized in Balam Akim. Close brackets. Said b'derech tzachus she b'tzachus. By Tzef as I'll go to Tzemach Tzedek. But again, so this Bichel my Marim Tov Kuf Samach Bey is published. We have the Sefer. So also it has the notations that are going to the Tzemach Tzedek. So there, in that mind, with the Maschim Vitl Cholikim, Medaya Kanal, there he asks also, as we did, She Tzarek Lovin Loma Kosa Brachas Elo Shemalikim. Why Shemalikim? It looks like he adds the Devod to Inyan Atzimtzum Kiyadu. Alikim is Tzimtzum, and Brachas are the opposite of Tzimtzum. So Agam Tzarek Lovin. And there he also asks a question, another one. Ha'inyan Cholniz Borech Yaakov Me Yitzchak. Another question, why is it that Yaakov is blessed from Yitzchak under the following strange conditions? One, Kim His hands had to be hairy like the hands of Esau. He touched him and he said, oh, it's Esau. Kamesha Kosov, the says, He didn't recognize him. His hands were like the hands, the arms of his brother. Seirah is hairy, and then the daf goes by he benched him. What's the hemshech? The mokim achim boisif, and elsewhere this is now the mitl rebbe teres chayim. He has another question. Boisif adiak shekadei lekabel abroche is a yakev tzarechli is gam lovush big the isav achiv. It's not enough that he is skin is is hairy. He has to wear his garments. He, he smelled the aroma of his clothing and he benched him. He says in Yerech, B'ni Kerech Hasod, that's like the field of apples and so on. The ore of Ganeidin, the whole Arichas, the even in Pshutosh Mikra, we see that the aroma, the smelling of the garments is a big part of invoking Yitzchak's bracha. What's the Indian over here? All right, friends, let's repeat the questions. Number one. No. Why Shem Alikim? Bracha Shem How does he answer that? Immediately. By bringing the Medrash, the Medrash says on, on, on these brachas, how does the Medrash gives many pirushim. It's the last pirush, actually, in the long list of pirushim. What's the pirush on Medrash? It's all Torah. What's what? You can actually, you don't have to think too long to see the association. Why? What's Tala Shemayim? Why would that be Torah Shabiksav? Association with you. Yeah, to you it comes Malamaida Lamata, it's, it's always present. It's also due as drops, Tadish Bhiksav is seminal. Fat of the land is what? No, specifically. No, in Tersh no, it's not it's, it's no specific. It's Mishnah. Shmane is is actually Oisius Nashama. Dog on grain is what? Talmud. Is Talmud is Gimara which nourishes, sustains, you don't understand the mission without the Gemara, and Tirish wine, the obvious connection, I told you, doesn't bring it here, doesn't bring it here, just says Chulu, etc. But Tirish is the obvious, it is what? A god, Pnimi Satoira, wine. Wine, which is Pnimi Satoira. I mean, the associations are, are, are fairly clear at Akalponim. So, what is his answer? So, that's why Shemuli came. Why? Because. Because why? It's like Montero, uh, Yusuf given the brachas of Torah to Yaakov. So what's the why, why Shem Olikim? Doesn't answer why Shem Olikim. Because Matan Torah begins with Vayidabar Olikim, it's called Advar Meil. And they have Shem Olikach. Matan Torah begins with Shem Olikim. But that just then engenders the next question. Why talking Matan Torah is the Shem Olikim? 
Next question. What's the Indian? No, before that. No, that's, that comes after, before that. What's the Indian of Borche Batayra? Torah is only given later. So what's he benching with Torah? Now we just added, but there was Torah before, so the Diyak is the Borche Batayra. It didn't come down yet. Baruch is all about Amshacha. It hasn't come down yet. It's, they accessed it Milamata Lamayla because they had to access heaven. And then the second question, whatever Torah is, V'Eidzais, Yaakov has it already. What's he adding? Torah was with Avram. A, what's the bracha? But Torah wasn't given yet. And B, Torah is b'chal around. What's the chiddush? It sounds like it's a big chiddush here. V'yitn l'chol l'kim, baruch about Torah, as if Torah wasn't around before. For Yaakov himself, he himself had Torah. How does he conclude the ois? Includes the ois with a with a little, you know, like has a chayin yidden, patch on the table. What's the patch on the table? The end of the ois. Ah. Huh? So, okay, I, maybe I didn't hear. Sorry. The medish is all very nice. But Kipshuta, Rev Dogon, the Talo Shemayim, Rev Dogon, the Siddish is Gashmias. So, what's Gashmias to Shemalikim? We have not answered our question. With all of this very nice association with trade, which only raised further questions, aside from raising further questions, it doesn't really answer the core question. Because Pshuta Shemikra is Gashmias. And Gashmias is Shemavai, it's Brocha. What's written in Cholikim? Ois Beis, further questions. What are the questions in Ois Beis? From the Bichel of the Mithal, the Alter Rebbe. First of all, there too he asked the question. He just adds just a word that we didn't say before on the problem with Shem Kim, that it is what? It's obvious, but he just adds the word Simtsum. But then he adds two more questions from other places in Chesidus. Number one is what? Yeah, what does he have to have? His hands have to be serious, have to be hairy, Dafke. And secondly, another question from the middle of the Rebbe. Why? Why must he be wearing big day Esav? So there's this. There's the Seiris and there's the clothing, the Levushim. Okay, let's continue. Second paragraph, oh, he's base. Mamshir ba maimer, so the mid the Alter Rebbe that continues in this maimer the bichl of Tov Kuf Samach Beis. He next Eve the pasuk says in Shira Shirim, my Yofi Sumano Amt Av Betanogim. How beautiful are you? How pleasant are you? Your love of delights. He is speaking to her. They wish to eat. So what's the shayad of the Alter Rebbe? Asks that it's a hov in echi tochin l'may lo inyan the tanugim lo sherabim. What is? How is it possible when talking about the Eibushter that it's a love not of delight lo shen yachid, but tanugim lo sherabim? There's only one delight. That's you. The Avshah time, the Gashmi Mishalik Lidi Bihaifani, we understand that Gashmi is the delights have many, there are many Mishalik Lidi Bihaifani. It means the capacity to delight in something is, 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 is a singular, it's a singular uh, state of the Nefesh. There's no Ishalkus there in Tainug in Nefesh. Ishalkus is what you delight in. It can express itself in many things. The Gashmi is. Why? Because the world is a world of many things. Like the, a person delights in the sweetness of food or aroma. He goes here, higher and higher. 
Bishmias Kail Orev, listening to a pleasant voice, song, music. I Buriya Seer No, or seeing a beautiful, a pleasant picture. That's a higher time for Chayyitzah Bazan and the like. And then there's the Tainik in Seichel, even a higher Tainik. Intellectual delight. Harizeh, so that's we understand these halkos because Harizeh rakle achli shatanik nifrid bim mekayre batzilus. That's because this, the tainog is separated from its source. The source of tainog is in atzilus. Beyeded lebra he's saying we're a reflection of God because there's the whole ishtalshalus and the neshama descends through ishtalshalus. Beyeded lebia descends into bri etzirasiya shem nifrodim where they are different, and there's separation there, so all kinds of different tainogim can emerge. Implying here, we're not talking about tainogim that are bad, or, or contrary, or, or, or uh, <laughs> the opposite of velikus. They're very pleasant and beautiful, and even spiritual. Talking biya, talking these in yonim, even if they are in biya. Talking about my uh, food as it is in Bia and Reyach and 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 Tzir could be even that the three things he mentions correspond to Bia. I don't know, but at any rate, it's all very nice. It's Ruchnius. It's not only Kus. So it's Ruchnius has different spiritual experiences. A beautiful sunset. It's going to be a profoundly spiritually moving experience. And listening to music, which is why all religions evoke uh, music in their, in their prayer. And let me tell you, it's very seductive. It's very seductive. Don't listen. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. And I, I know someone that uh, Rahman Litzlan, a Yid, God will help you soul, but what drew him in was. Uh, was the music. Mm. Talking, this the church music, Christian music, and at its height is very, uh, very seductive, and uh, not just even in Islam. <laughs> yeah, anyway, what's his name? No, famous English singer that became a Muslim. No, it was Cat Stevens. So he, became a Muslim and put out a record. He had to make some money, so he put out a record. Then he has a song there. I listened to a, a bar and I stopped because it was really powerful, about Muhammad. He really put his soul into that more than any other composition. Very powerful. So, can't we understand all of that? Because that's Ishtal Shulus. Hashem came by Tzilus. But at Silo, Shubhinus Elikus Mamish, what Tainu Gim? There's only one Tainu Gelikus. Harishomo Achtus Poshut. Just to make clear, when I'm speaking Bia, I'm not talking Cat Stevens. When I'm speaking Bia, I'm speaking in, in, in Kedusha. It's a Kedusha. That's a enjoying Yiddishkeit because of all of the beautiful things about Yiddishkeit. That's all in Bia. It's not about Yiddishkeit. Atilis is about the Likus. So what is Ava Betanogim? Mashenkim, Bat Silis, Shubhin, Selikus, Mamesh, Arisham, Achtus, Pashut. There, the simple, singular truth of the Abish is manifest. For like Shaykh Shom is Chalkus to be Fanim Shal Tainog. And such Shaykh there to have different experiences. Different experiences is one God. It's you, and that's all. And he was speaking at the highest madrigas of Bittl. A relationship with godliness, not Yiddishkeit, not spirituality, not religion, but the Ebishter. So the Ebishter, so what are we talking here? How could it be Av Betanogim? Achayinyan Hoi answers right away. At least at the outset, and the mind will go deeper. We don't talk of mean different kinds of tainug. But what? In tainug itself, there's two expressions. 
namely, there's a tainug which a person experiences in the way of openimi, namely, that it settles and is absorbed in his mind and heart. like a sweet food, kill out of it, see another, see another pleasant voice and a beautiful picture. And even hearing good news, which you didn't expect, but it's beside the The news comes to say the that you that, it's, that you hear it, and it comes to you in a means to say that it's not out of your world. Beside the vadroga, you didn't expect it, but it's possible, it's feasible, and so you're very happy. The good news, and you have a tainug. He had a certain windfall, the deal went through, whatever it is. It's Seydeva Droga, even though it's a Pesuda Teva. Pesuda Teva means that it comes out of the blue to a certain degree. But there's two kinds of Pesuda Teva. One that's what's in your world and expected. And that's, he's saying, a Pesuda Teva that causes a Tainog that is absorbed within the Seychel, he understands it. It doesn't blow his mind away. But then there's a tainug, which is a irmakiv. The example would be a tainug mipsur and niflo be a wondrous news. Shabale pisin that comes suddenly that he had, he has no no expectation of it's not in his world, and all of a sudden something that brother he thought that he would never see again was lost and he finds him so such a psuda the mind and heart cannot contain it this causes a tremendous spiders for us and then a tiny all of the tiny hovers over him because he cannot assimilate it in his mind in his heart now this is a marshal for the Zelga Machiluk Shibben Yer Yosha, a little which is what looked about the previous to my modem ago. No, previous mind, but he gulled in the Yosha, yeah. This is a marshal for Eir Yosha and Eir Chayze, direct revelation or a rebounding revelation. Now, a rebounding revelation is different Pirushim or different levels of Eir Chayze. Sometimes Eir Chayze means simply. A light that's discovered within Milamata Lamaila. Here it's a higher level of Ur Khaizim. Ur Khaizim means it 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 bounces back because you can't contain it. It's too high. Shatain Shibhinas Ur Pinimi a tiny gava Ur Pinimi Shiyachli Sasha Bukya Mayah Valev U Baba Derek Ur Yosha. This is a time dog that comes to some degree filtered through Tzimtzum and therefore comes in a way of Eir Yosha and he can have an appreciation, an intellectual appreciation of the truth of the Abish. It's one address. The address is you. The first level is I appreciate you. I really do. But time that you us Eir Makif is I can't even begin to appreciate you. I appreciate you. I can't even appreciate you. But it's all you. That's the Nukuta here. But time should be in this Eir Makiv, Shriyachelena Hamayichvale, Baba Derech El Chayze. But the time which is called Eir Makiv, it hovers because it can be contained, grasped, held down by the mind and the heart. It's called Eir Chayze, Hainu Shatainduk Nichnas Ktsas. He obviously has appreciation. He's aware of this. The news arrived, it's you, the Givald of Alikus is something that he has an appreciation of, but it's Givald, but it doesn't settle because it can't be apprehended intellectually. He appreciates his fundamental limitation. So there's an appreciation, but then it leaves him, and then it's this constant back and forth. So much so that it's the Ur Chayzer. Their pearls, Kleis nefesh, a longing, a longing to completely depart his own limitations and unite with the truth of Alikus because he can't contain it, this MS with his own limitations. That's the Ur here, 
that he speaks of the, this Givaldeg Eichhoizer that's higher than Er Yasha. It always is. For even the simple types of Eichhoizer. But at any rate, so this, we're following this. So the Kshayla was, what was the question? Ave Betanugim. What's the plural over here? The plural is not two different addresses. I'm enjoying this and I'm enjoying something else. No. We're talking Elikus, you, Abishta. So what's the plural? There's that dimension. Both things are concurrent. There's the aspect within me that I appreciate and sustains and fills and nourishes. And then there's the aspect that the person realizes that he cannot contain you, the gewalt of it all. Then this is I'm going to say now it's a very deep word. He's not saying it in the Maimah here, but elsewhere I see this. The gewalt is that I can understand you and appreciate you. It's not two different things. That's the gewalt. That you allowed that we should have a, and that the mind and the heart should know you. Therein lies the gewalt. This needs a lot of elaboration, but I hope we get the point. Push it. How can what shaykhist as a creation have to creator? Never mind creator. Here we're talking, they wish to be on creator. And we do. We know him. We're aware of him deeply. We child, we human being. Shem Shambayim Shogar Bifikoil. It's natural and instinctual. This is the greatest gift that we should know him. And then there's the intellectual dimension, this language in itself. We're talking, we're talking, there's some understanding. It's all completely miraculous. We get used to it, take it for granted. Another mime, another mime. It's all a miracle that we're talking about God in a very intimate and detailed way. That's the Givald. That's the that's the Echazer. 